Love the edit. Keep it up. He is so hot. I want to be killed by him. Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Ariel. Today's video is uh, a bit concerning to say the least. I don't know what is wrong with this generation, but um, you guys get a little freaky, a little too freaky. Um, and I'm scared. I'm worried about you. Uh, let's see what I'm talking about. So I actually deleted my TikTok. It wasn't good for my mental health of 2021. So we're trying to heal now, right? I, I saw something that concerned me a lot. It scared me. It baffled me. People are making fan cams of serial killers. Um, what is wrong with you guys? Like what? You need and obviously like i mean not obviously but i'm assuming it's not adults doing it. that would be concerning too but i'm assuming it's not adults doing it because most tiktokers are younger which is just um scary it's scary and it's also like really not right at all it's 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 horrible but we're gonna get more serious later on but let's let's see some of these and let's react to them and review them and judge people about them okay because this is this is who hurt you let's go so i think there's two serial killers that um people are really attracted to it seems like on tiktok and those two are ted bundy and richard ramirez also known as the Night Stalker. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't want a Night Stalker taking away my young life, my youthful life. Okay, but apparently you guys do. You know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm over exaggerating this. And maybe I will see the point of all this by the end. Highly doubt it though, because you guys are like weird, okay? I, I'm not even like sorry for judging people who do this, but okay. <laughs> Oh god. He looks creepy, doesn't he? I don't get this. He's literally walking into the courtroom of his conviction and he looks scary. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like, I feel like I can like see the evil in these people where it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I can see how that guy turned into that. Lord have mercy on your soul, okay? What is wrong with you? Oh, there's, there's, there's 674 likes on this? What is wrong with people? Okay, okay, good. The first comment with less likes and how much this video has likes, run it up to 256 says maybe don't romanticize real serial killers. There were real people who were afraid for their lives and grieved their lost ones. Please don't. Yeah, like this is so messed up. Like how would you feel if somebody was romanticizing somebody who took away your loved one and who you can never receive back and it was in a very gruesome way. Apparently my mom, well yeah, my mom was around when, when Ted Bundy was, uh, being caught and like when he escaped and like got gaga and, and I just I watched a lot of documentaries on it because I'm one of those girls that is fascinated by the stuff but um it's it I couldn't imagine the fear at that time I know like my mom and her friends like were scared even though they were in a well he was in different states right he like I don't remember it but um that's that's very scary and I was about to say thank god we don't have <laughs> that fear right now but um we do and we have a lot of other fears too but um yeah this is just so messed up and and so wrong and tone deaf and you you should never romanticize things like this and that should be known oh, okay here's an interesting comment okay so he is quite attractive but to be honest i don't think we should be crushing over a murderer who has killed several women for me though, at least, once I know they're a serial killer, I, I'm I'm not attracted to them, but 
I think we can agree and say like, yeah, okay, that guy is attractive. Yeah, we could be subjective like that, but to just romanticize it and, and continue to like, like them and like reel them in or whatever is just kind of disgusting and creepy yourself. So yeah. Somebody says, not me simping for a serial killer, hee <laughs> hee. And the maker of this, whose name on, on TikTok is Ted Bundy with an engagement ring or like a ring. And she's like, not me doing it too. Wow. Wow. Like people are going against this person and she's like, or he says, eh, if you're gonna be negative, mate, go. Ooh. Aren't you the one being negative though? Like romanticizing a serial killer who's killed multiple women? Like, excuse me. The audacity. Wow. Wow. The audacity of these. Okay, let's move on to the next one. He looks creepy. I don't get it. And the song to go with this? Yeah, I'm sure you would want to marry a, a creep like this. What the hell is wrong with people? It's just so messed up. And I feel like her um, profile picture is... I don't know what it is. I thought it was like different stages of Ted Bundy growing up. And the song is Marry Me. And get this. Guess how many likes this video has? 1,777 likes. Wow. Okay, obviously a lot of you have uh, a lot of trauma. And, and okay, I, I honestly like, I have a lot of trauma, like very serious trauma, but um, yeah, this did not, this, I am not into this at all. Like, oh, how, how can that many people like, like this stuff? I feel like it's maybe like younger kids who don't, really understand the grasp of how serious this is or something like i i don't i i can't justify this i don't know oh okay so somebody's like respect the victims girl and then she's like i do no you clearly don't if you're i keep saying romanticized but like it is it's romanticizing a murderer who killed those victims like what girl you need help stop it get some help yeah, exactly. There's so many better people. So many better looking people though. Yeah, there's there's so many good looking people out there and you choose a serial killer. Okay, okay. You know what? Tell it to your therapist, sweetie, okay? What the? Somebody's like, Jeffrey Dahmer is better. And then the maker of the video says, both are equal to me. What the hell? And then people are like, Jeff and Ted, heart, heart, heart. What is wrong with you people? This reminds me of like Stockholm Syndrome kind of, but it's it's not Stockholm Syndrome. I don't know like if this would be categorized as anything, but it's, it's like really very concerning, very concerning. And it's so funny how like, it's not just pictures of him like outside and like enjoying life. It's literally him cuffed in a jail suit walking in the courtroom. Like, girl, don't get me wrong. I love bad boy style. Like I, I, I love it. Like you know, most girls do, but this is not bad boy style. This is literally a killer. That's not bad. That's messed up. Next one. I'm your biggest fan. I can't play the songs just because it's copyright, but it's, it's Lady Gaga's paparazzi. I'll follow you until you love me. Maybe you guys would be a good match because I'm sure he would love to follow you and end your life. How about that? Yeah. The description of this video is, he was only 43 when he died. Mm. Oh. 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 Mm. All right. Do you know how young those girls were when they died? Jeez. What is, like, what goes through your mind to say stuff? Yeah, Kimberly Leach was only 12. A amen. Rest in peace to all the victims. Okay. Um. Somebody's like, he deserved it. Yeah, and the maker of the video says, ha ah, ha, lock your door at night, you never know. Is that a threat? And would you want a serial killer knocking on your door at night? I'm pretty sure he wouldn't even knock, he would just come right in and that is what he did. So, okay, let's check out the next one. This one is Jeffrey Dahmer. And I actually have a 
Don't worry about it, Jeffrey Dahmer. That I will tell after the video. <laughs> It's literally him just sitting in court. I don't get it. Wow. 30 likes and all the comments are like, no, stop. Good. Okay, we're learning, we're learning. And the, the maker of this TikTok's username is Jeff Dahmer's Freezer. That's actually like so messed up. Oh my God, this is disgusting. Why am I doing this? Can you please like this video because this is like traumatizing i don't know if these people like actually have problems and are like sharing interests with these serial killers or, or what but it's so beyond messed up the story about jeffrey Dahmer that i was gonna say is uh this is alleged but apparently one of my mom's clients she used to live in like the same state jeffrey Dahmer did and they used to be neighbors and apparently her son used to find like dead animal skulls in the woods by them so yeah that's nice and also like the music that goes along with these is uh further romanticizing it making people think it's like okay and like you know music and sounds put you in a mood and it's like trying to put you in a mood to fall in love with him or something it's just so crazy i i like i'm gonna be repeating myself a lot because i there's just no no words for it other than how messed up this is. Okay, this next one is interesting. It's also Jeffrey Dahmer, but kind of not Jeffrey Dahmer. We'll see. I have a feeling you guys may like this one. <laughs> okay. Justifying how we killed people. Okay and tortured people. So this is from the film, My Friend Dahmer, I believe, played by Ross Lynch. And that's why I said, I think you guys may like this because the actor is known to be like attractive to a lot of people. So what I think is going on here is people like relating the actor to the actual person and seeing them as them, maybe. And the description for this video is, Jeff didn't deserve to die, fight me. Oh my god, okay. Whoa. This video has 232.5 thousand likes. And I'm assuming again, hoping that there is hope for humanity here. That this is because it's Ross Lynch and people are just liking his acting and they didn't read the description or something. Exactly. Just because Ross Lynch had a good performance doesn't mean you can drool all over a serial killer. Yeah. Exactly, I agree. Learn here. Get your therapy, girl. They have it online now, okay? Yeah, that's another thing. Like, just because somebody had a rough childhood uh, doesn't justify anything. Me, personally, I'm not gonna get deep, but like, my childhood was uh, really messed up. And, and yeah, I wouldn't even call it a childhood. But I've noticed that there's two ways people go. Usually it's either they become like their abuser or they don't. They become like super empathetic because they can't imagine treating somebody even like remotely to that how they were treated so for this he had a rough childhood he did but does that justify him torturing and ending people's lives no it doesn't maybe it gives us uh information on like how he wound up being like that but also okay i don't remember this from psychology but um i'm pretty sure they're Thalamus uh, is smaller than the average person, which is where empathy is. Um, I could be completely wrong on that, so do not quote me on that. And if you're gonna justify somebody's actions because of what they've been through, girl, don't. I, I'm an example here, like I've been through a lot of stuff and I will never justify somebody or me doing something bad if I ever do or if somebody ever does um, just because they had a rough childhood. Like I said, it can give us information on like how that person turned out to be this way or like why they're behaving this way. But you are always in charge of how you react and your emotions, no matter what. It is on you, no matter what. Even if somebody's like constantly annoying you, it 
is on you on how you react yes they're wrong for doing that but how are you gonna react to that are you gonna ignore it or are you gonna like fight them or something you know what i'm saying yeah it's not not right all right let's see this next one. Oh my god ew look at how he's walking in like so confident ew like he knows ew Ugh. i feel like he knows that like people find him attractive but like it's just his narcissistic -ness. Narcissism. This is horrible. Oh, he looks evil to me. He looks evil. I don't like it. it. Creeps me out. Stop. Okay. So this is Richard Ramirez. I've been seeing a lot more of him recently, of people romanticizing him. So I said, let's not romanticize this. And the maker of this is like, I don't. Did you not just make a video of like his angles like seductively putting his sunglasses down and everything yeah you are you are definitely part of the problem and the maker of this also said in all caps in a different font i'm not romanticizing i'm not romanticizing i'm not romanticizing but you are <laughs> like just because you're saying you're not doesn't mean you aren't like you know you are that's why you had to justify it okay let's see another richard ramirez this one is just <laughs> Can you believe this? Okay, th that one's actually concerning because if you see something like this as an icon, then uh, I think you like actually need help. Swear to God, my FBI agent looking at me through the camera is gonna uh, be worried that I'm I'm looking at all this stuff. What the hell? Love the edit. Keep it up. He is so hot. I want to be killed by him. I, I, I can't even say anything to that. I'm sure you wouldn't if you were in the moment and being scared of your life being taken from you. Wow. That is disgusting. I don't pray a lot anymore, but um, I, I will be praying for you guys. Okay, now we're getting into the segment where people are doing this to BTS, where people are making um, like fan fictions of BTS being serial killers. Girl, leave BTS. Are they not perfect already? Like, why you gotta like put this on them? Like, really? Who? You like? You can like a bad boy. Like, make a fan fiction of BTS. Like doing like dirty stuff in the bedroom or some something like that not murdering okay this one is of Jin well why handsome okay I adore the beauty itself okay this is what is wrong with that's not even Jin that's Taehyung. And I kill only those who looks like definition of beauty. For becoming the god. The god of the beauty. <laughs> okay, this one was like actually creepy because I'm pretty sure all the clips were of BTS music videos, even though they weren't all of Jin. But it like fit together to, to look like a serial killer. The description is Jin is a worldwide handsome serial killer. Um, it's only funny because of the worldwide handsome and his motive is like staying beautiful or something. I don't know. It's just, come on guys, just love BTS for who they are, not turning them into like a creepy person. Okay, so this one is Tungku. This one's like a story. So let's read it and see what it's about. If Jun Jung Gook was a serial killer and would ask you if he can kill you even though he loves you. If I told you this was only gonna hurt, if I warned you that the fire's gonna burn, would you walk in? Would you let me do it first? Do it all in the name of love. Yeah, because that's love. So, would you let me lead you even when blind? And 
my darkness in the middle of the night in the silence when there's no one by her side would you call in the name of, of love in the name of love I don't know who hurt you when you were younger thinking that that is love but it's not okay using the influence of Jungkook looking like hot and seductive while the story is just so messed up it's putting a positive on a negative and it's making you think that it's okay or like that it's normal uh but it's not okay it is it's really not <laughs> okay this one is the last one he watches you for some time comes to you in the middle of the night grabs you from your bed yeah that's fun covers your face and suffocates you oh that's it oh, that's the end of it he suffocates you wow okay now you know what i got a little bit of choking action in the bedroom okay maybe some people are into that but um fantasizing of namjoon suffocating you is not normal and it's making you think like it's okay or like that it would be hot or attractive you know what you you could be into your own thing but i just oh god i i don't think it's right i think it's strange weird and and concerning above all it's concerning because if a man treats you like that girl you need to run and report him I mean, okay, well that's it. If you agree with me, like, please like this video so that I know there's still some sane people out there. Comment and subscribe. Thank you. So much for watching. Peace, love, peace, love, peace, arigatou gozaimasu. And I'll see you in the next video.